Well, once in a while, uh, somebody asks me for advice, and uh, generally I don't give too much advice only because I don't feel that I, I really have a lot of grand, ground to stand on, in the sense that uh, if you would have asked me for advice, say, 10 years ago or 20 years ago, I'd be quick to give it to you because at that time I was stroking my ego thinking that my answers may have been the best ones. And uh, a lot of my early poetry and writing reflected that, my disdain for society and the ignorance and uh, bad people and whatnot. But today I'm less likely to answer with anything in particular. However, I received a question earlier and I figured I would make a video. Somebody asked me if I'd make a video about evil people. And uh, he said that, uh, in a nutshell, he said that uh, he lives, the people he lives around want to do him harm, he believes. And he wants to know what percentage, I think, of people are evil. And uh, in a sense, the first thing I could say about this is get away from people who want to do you harm. First and foremost, living as a victim, even if you're not playing the victim role, uh, will always wear you down to the point where you become acceptant and tolerant of that victim role. And it's our brain's natural tendency to become accustomed to the situations we live in. So if we live around people who are abusive and we take it, then we're more likely to encounter more abusive people because if we're the kind of person who can be abused or allow ourselves to be abused in one way or another, and I don't know if this is physical, mental, emotional, or all three, but um, I see that we tend to have a view of society that there are evil people because of that. Now, to answer that question of how many people do I think are evil, I don't think anybody's evil. I don't even believe in evil in the sense of, of uh, uh, I, I believe that perhaps 2% of the people are, have ill intentions, maybe between 2 and 5% of the people have ill intent, and out of those, maybe you know 90% of those are just doing it for self gain so because they believe they're more entitled than others uh, very few people are actually out to harm others but a larger percentage say up to 10 maybe up to 20 percent uh, will abuse people verbally under their breath or under the guise of being a friend or they'll give them uh, uh, advice that's disguised under the or I should say uh, uh, advice that's labeled as, as, as pointing the finger or, you know, with malicious intent, but maybe not such an, an evil, but rather people are uncomfortable in their own thoughts. I'll put it that way. People are uncomfortable in their own skin. And anybody who tells you different is uh, either hasn't never really thought about what it means to be alive or they've already drawn conclusions about the way life is. So they've put themselves in a comfort zone. For those of us you know, uh, wading through all the craziness in life, we find that there are a lot of people who appear to be evil. And, uh, you know, I, I hate to say it, but, you know, so much of that is perpetuated by the nonsense of Christianity, which is, you know, over a couple thousand years, obviously reached this point where now we can see that this is a fictional story that is archetypes, allegories, and whatnot. Yet we, uh, by people who still follow the Bible, which is a huge percentage, say up to 80% or 73%, I think, identify themselves as Christian in the U.S. And all of those people believe that, uh, that there's a force of evil and that this force is, uh, and it's not about believing in just the force of evil. It's about believing that this is manifested through all of the things that the Bible says are bad. So. Uh, my point here being uh, that religion has brought forth an idea of what hatred is or what evil is and trying to give us a picture or a book as to what that is. Uh, some of the people who appear evil to us though, uh, it's just a much deeper, deeper um, concept that we don't understand. Like the reason why a person is a certain way. Perhaps they were abused themselves. You know. Perhaps they just misunderstand your intention and they just think they're defending themselves. But the whole notion of evil people, I don't really know what to make about that. I, I think that 
I guess it's because I believe that people are good and I believe that people are bad and it depends on how you view humanity, how you view nature in general, you know. Uh, take it for example, do you think that the earth is a, you know, horrible violent place to live or, you know, there's all kinds of storms, earthquakes, tsunamis. If that's what you focus on, then that's what you're going to be attracted to and those are the things you're going to notice. And if you see the beauty, the trees, and the sunshine, you're more likely to see that. And I think evil and good are the same exact way, but we've put this, uh, you know, we're trying to put labels on what people, whether a person's good or bad. I don't know. See, I'll end up just wandering back and forth talking about the same thing over and over. Um, in a nutshell, if you're in a situation where you're being abused or you feel abused or you feel like bad people are around you, get out regardless. And uh, in the long run, you'll be happier. And that's my belief. That's something I can firmly believe. Because I don't think anybody should ever have to tolerate being abused by anyone, verbally or otherwise. And I don't take shit from anybody. And neither should you. So, have a good day, everybody.